is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, in our Bible lesson, we will continue on the topic of temptation. But before we go any further, we will have our opening prayer by Sister Andrea Stewart. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise today for granting us another day to love and to learn all about your works and your teachings. Lord, we lift up not only ourselves to you, but we lift up all of our family members, all of our relatives, all of our friends, all of our loved ones, especially those persons who are in need of your guidance right now. Oh God, you are such a gracious and awesome God. And even though we know that sometimes we might do things that may not be following the teachings of your word, we know that you are an awesome and forgiving God. And we know that no matter what, once we pray and ask for forgiveness, that you will forgive us, O oh God, because you love us. Father, as we learn all about your message in today's session, we just want to say, open our minds and our hearts to learn and love and accept your words and your teachings. We give you honor and glory. We give you thanks and praise for everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. Please take out your Bibles as we join in with Aiden Gray in reading our scripture lesson. The reading is taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wilds of the devil. Thank you so much Aiden for reminding us to put on the whole armor of God. Today in our Bible lesson, we will be discussing the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden and how Eve was tempted by the devil. Stay tuned as we watch a short Bible story on Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Stories of the Bible, Adam and Eve's sin. This is Adam. Hey. And this is Eve who were the first people on earth. They lived in the Garden of Eden, which was a beautiful place that had everything they needed. Adam and Eve took care of the animals and could eat from any of the trees in the garden, except for one. This was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and God told them not to eat from this tree. There were lots of animals in the garden, but the serpent was the most clever of all the wild animals God had made. Hmm. One day, he asked the woman, Hey, Eve. Did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of these trees in the garden? <laughs> no. Eve said that they were able to eat from all of the fruit trees except the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. For God said, You must not eat or even touch it. If you do, you will die. No, that can't be. You won't die, said the serpent. God knows that as soon as you eat it, you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. <gasps> oh. The woman was convinced. She saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to Adam, and he ate it too. At that moment, their eyes were opened. Oh, no! And they suddenly realized they weren't wearing clothes and were embarrassed. So they sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, Adam and Eve heard God walking about in the garden. Hi! So they hid from God among the trees. Then God called to Adam, where are you? Adam said, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat from the tree I told you not to eat from? Adam said, It was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Then God asked Eve, What have you done? The serpent tricked me, she replied. That's why I ate it. Then God punished the serpent by making it so he would crawl on his belly from then on. 
he told Eve that she would have great pain in her life. Then God said to Adam that because he listened to Eve and did not obey what God had told him to do, his life would be very difficult. He would have to work hard to get food to eat, God said, for you were made from dust, and to dust you will return. Then God made them clothing from the animals, but God knew that Adam and Eve could no longer live in the garden because of their sin, so he sent them away and closed up the garden. Children, how many of us can honestly say that when God tells us not to do something that we still go ahead and do it anyway? Or perhaps when our parents tells us, don't go on the street to play or don't go riding your bikes in the street, we think it's okay. I'm not hurting anybody and nobody will ever know. But the truth is God knows. And when we do something wrong, we are punished for our disobedience. Our scripture lesson today reminds us that we are to put on the whole arm of God so that we are able to stand against the devil. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27 also reminds us that we give no place to the devil. Our prayer today is that when we find ourselves in situations where we are led to temptation, that God would give us the strength and the courage to walk away. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So much.